Bro, what? What are you doing? Don't you see I'm trying to lose weight for the summer? Are you sure that you do it in the right way? I'm drinking three protein shakes per day. I cut all the carbs and eating two pounds of broccoli. So yeah, I know what I'm doing. Don't bother me, man. All right, all right, man, no worries. Good luck with that. Good morning, everyone. Today, as I go along through my day, I'm gonna be showing you five real steps how to get shredded by summer. So everybody will be turning around when you're passing by on the beach. Let's go. We arrived at Santa Monica Beach here in LA. It's summer all year round, so you gotta be always shredded. But besides of that, here we go to the step number one. Build some morning routine. It could be some morning walk under the sunshine or under the rain. Could be some morning run, yoga session. For me, it's uh, biking to the beach, doing some light abs workout session, then going to the ocean for the cold exposure. I'll tell you about that later. And then biking back. I'm very excited every time that I wake up to do that, find something that you enjoy doing because when you do something that you enjoy, the results, it's not the point. The process is. I was doing morning walks for a long time already. No matter where I live, go outside, do some light activity. It still will burn some calories. It will still help you to lose your weight and get more shredded. So build some morning routine. Let's go. I came from the mud. By the way, guys, if you want to see my detailed abs workout in the morning, let me know in the comments. Try to catch me howling at the moon. What a blessing to finish up the morning routine with the cold exposure in the ocean. Guys, I really recommend you to end something like that. Could be cold showers, cold exposure into the ocean, the river, sea, whatever you have close by. It could be ice tub. Ice tub is probably the perfect one because the temperature of the water is even lower. And a lot of research has been done on that, that it can actually decrease your fat tissues in the body. If you do not only like cold exposure, but also shiver after that, you see right now, I'm not using a towel or anything. I shiver a lot, meaning my body burns a lot of energy to heat me up and that will make you even leaner. Just finally came back from the beach. It's 2 p.m. right now. I'm telling you all of that because here it goes the step number two, intermittent fasting. There is a research has been done on mice, later on humans, that if you restrict the feeding window to eight hours per day, not less than that, but eight hours per day. People have managed to lose or maintain their weight, even though they ate everything they would usually eat on a regular day. Last time I ate yesterday was 10 p.m. Right now it's 2 p.m. I'm gonna cook the breakfast and that's gonna be my first meal. You can definitely do that while getting shredded. Breakfast is ready, some chicken, eggs, and the most important is a lot of greens. Some people say that it's much easier to maintain this eight hour feeding window, meaning 16 hour not feeding window. If you consume enough of fiber, enough of greens, rucola, kale, cabbage, whatever you can find green in the supermarket, make sure you eat enough. We're at the gym. Here goes the third step. Add some stretch training to your weekly schedule. It could be some workout at the gym, or maybe you have a couple dumbbells at home, or maybe you are a fan of calisthenics. I would recommend adding at least three times per week. One hour, it's enough, but without it, you'll not be able to build the muscles and actually have this cool, shirtless look at the beach as we all want. Good biceps, wide back, big shoulders, and don't forget about the legs. Today I'm gonna to be having some chest session mostly and then some tries at the end.
talking about the splits that you can do per week I would say find something that you enjoy doing first thing first but if you are on the side to be as optimal as possible you want to do each muscle group 10 to 20 sets per week so for me I would do like if I train six days per week I'll train shoulders twice in a week biceps twice in a week back chest legs and then I'm combining all of that each muscle group is ready for the workout when it's time to do that let's go Since we have only 10 minutes before the gym closes, I'm doing super sad. Some push-ups on the barbells. Very good exercise for the chest and some triceps. What can be a better meal than to have a dinner after a good workout session? And I think now it's time to talk about step number four. Fix your dieting. There is a very general rule of physics, which is calories in, calories out. Everybody says that you gotta be eating less than you actually burn. Here I draw a small diagram to demonstrate that. So let's talk about calories out first. So we have a morning routine, something active, cold shower, cold exposure, good for calories out. Then strength training, couple of days per week, it's good. And resting metabolism. This is the amount of calories that your body spends per day if you would do literally nothing. And then we have a calories in part. This is protein, fats, and carbs. If you wanna increase your muscle mass or just in general, or lose fat, fill out your calories in part with enough of protein. I would recommend one grams per pound of body weight, at least. Then you wanna avoid some unhealthy fats, but the main goal is still to achieve the position of the scales where calories in, it goes lower than calories out. It could be achieved by multiple ways, right? You can just put less consistently on your plate, or what I find the easiest way is to count your calories using some calories up. And with that, I would recommend to add this rule to your summer preparation, and then you'll see this nice, aesthetic, shredded, buddy on a beach one day good luck and here we slowly move to the step number five which is master your sleep first of all get good amount of sleep at least eight hours i would say if you're following the previous step and get into some low calorie diet then you want to add even more hours because body takes more time to recover also the quality of sleep is important prepare your bedroom remove all the light don't use a lot of blue light at the evening go use the sunlight in the morning during our morning routine and i think that's it for those five steps if you can do three out of five it would be perfect you won't believe me but i was actually doing all of those five steps while working nine to five some of you might say ah, i don't have time for that you do have time like you can do one hour of morning routine before the job. That was always doing. Then some gym sesh afterwards and intermittent fasting and some dieting during the day and not going crazy during the nights. That's it, that's simple. Try to do it like day by day, step by step. And then while well, you're gonna be seeing some intermediate results, you'll be enjoying that and you'll be wanting even more. And by the summer, you're gonna be looking at yourself in the mirror or at the beach and we'll be surprised how shredded how good you're looking thanks all for watching it subscribe to the channel if you learn something new or gonna be applying something to yourself leave comments down below give me a like and till the next one peace